A third of child care programs across the U.S. could close once federal funding from the pandemic expires in three days. Fox 26's Natalie He joins us live now with the details of what's at risk on this weekend. Well, $24 billion in the American Rescue Plan that helped keep thousands of child care centers across the country open during COVID is set to expire this Saturday. That means if something's not done, not only would it have a trickle-down effect, it could leave millions of children without care. When we go to the bank or go to our grocery store or go anywhere, all those workers rely on child care. And if that's not there, we're all going to suffer it. So it's not just the, it's not just a family issue. It's not just an economy issue. It's not just uh, is, is that staff person going to be there. Kim Koferin with the nonprofit Children at Risk is sounding the alarm on a potential child care crisis in the U.S. On September 30th, 24 billion federal dollars that helped fund 70,000 daycare centers across the U.S. during COVID is set to expire. According to the Century Foundation, that could leave 3.2 million children without child care. The families that are of low income are going to get hit the worst. They have less choices. They have you know, typically less opportunity for transportation. Texas lawmakers tried to intervene in the legislature, but in the end, a $2.3 billion proposal was left out of the final budget. Kim says not only would the closure of thousands of daycares have dire consequences on parents and families, but on the economy as well. We can see tuition rise for families. Um, we're going to see wages cut for, for early childhood educators, which we know they're already making low wages. And then we're also seeing the possibility of centers that are just can't make it on their own and close their doors. Experts say about 230,000 child care jobs are now at risk. They also say that the child care workforce is one of the slowest sectors to recover after the pandemic. From downtown Houston, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.